Ladies and gentlemen, valued at hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions, we have the WWE. And against them we have... A peacock? Okay then. Well, everyone, according to the Wall Street Journal and Verge, it looks like the WWE streaming service is coming to an end. Yes, you heard that right. It is coming to an end, and it is going to be moving to Peacock, the NBC Universal Comcast-owned streaming service. Um, and here's how it's going to work. So, WWE Network, the standalone video service for the World Wrestling Entertainment, won't be going about it much longer. At least in the United States. This is for the United States. I don't know about international right now. Today, WWE and NBC Universal announced that the service, which offers live streams of pay per view events, a large roster of original shows, and a massive vault of WWE programming, will be integrated into Peacock starting in March. March, just over a month away. The US version of the WWE Network app will be shut down as part of the deal, which the Wall Street Journal is putting at over $1 billion. The new tag team results in a posit on both sides. WWE will find itself with a wider streaming audience after seemingly hit a ceiling on the WWE network growth. And Peacock gets a differentiator in the direct-to-consumer streaming wars. For people that currently have both services, this, will move, this move will be a rare case where streaming gets less complicated and perhaps saves them money. Peacock will launch the WWE network on March 18th, in time for both Fastlane uh, later... Um, that month and two-day WrestleMania 37 in April, and it's promising to bring over all the content which is current uh, for WWE Network subscribers. That's not a small thing. There's actually a lot on the WWE Network, which, of course, includes decades worth of pay-per-view shows. Uh, it includes Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, original series like Steve Austin's Broken Skull Sessions, and so on. Starting in 2022... So next year, WWE says subscribers can expect one signature documentary annually. In 2020, these documentaries include Edge, The Second Mountain, detailing wrestlers to turn off to nine years in the ring, Undertaker, The Last Ride. Presumably, smaller efforts like WWE 24 and Chronicle will continue to come out at a more regular pace. Last year, WWE launched a free tier on their streaming service. Um, some of the content that was on that will be free on Peacock's free plan. But the WWE branding will mean present on Peacock, but the network itself will be available on both Peacock's premium $4.99 per month one and the ad-free $9.99 plan. So current subscribers of the wrestling service, which costs $9.99 monthly, will actually be saving money if they opt for the $4.99 option. <coughs> WWE and NBC Universal will share more details on the transition a lot closer to the March 18th date. As many people are curious how it's how it's going to work. But it looks like if you had the free tier there, it's going to be free on the Peacock plan. If you pay $4.99 a month, you're going to get everything that's on there, albeit with ads. And if you pay $9.99 a month, you're going to get everything without ads. So this is big. <laughs> this is this is really, really big, as you can tell. Um, the WWE Network, though, which was 24-7, launched at CES in 2014. Its, of course, biggest selling point was the inclusion of pay-per-view events, which fans would normally pay 50, 60, or plus uh, for each event, uh, as part of a much cheaper monthly subscription. It saves you a lot of money. The service underwent a major design in a redesign in 2019. Subscriber totals apparently have peaked typically around um, WrestleMania each year. Of course, that's like the Super Bowl of wrestling. It ended um, the third quarter of 2020 with 1.5 million subscribers. The service eclipsed 2 million customers at, one, at times, but never managed to maintain that base. By comparison, Peacock already has 22 million users, but it's not clear how many of those are paying subscribers. Either way, of course, they no longer have to sweat streaming numbers now that they'll be part of Peacock. And we also know that a lot of this will also be on USA. So that's how it's going to go. And here at the bottom. There'll be no changes to the international version of WWE's network, which will continue operating as it does today. The WWE Network deal is separate from the WWE's big money TV contracts with NBC Universal, for Monday Night Raw and NXT and so on, and Fox, which airs SmackDown Live on Fridays. Episodes of all those shows will be available on the WWE Network after their normal TV window. So, internationally, stays the same for now. In the US, it's going to Peacock. You can get it some on the free tier, everything on the first paid tier, and everything without ads on the second one. You excited? Vince McMahon sure he wants you to be so. So does Comcast. Is this a good move? Sound off in the comments. <laughs>